Now, Pauline, I know the one thing that you've been doing as well is you actually had a chance to ride with MnDOT crews mm -hmm. as far mm -hmm. as how they treat the roads, making sure that our roads are prepared ahead of the storm. Right, and right. they have been keeping a close eye on our weather as well, right. like we are, right? So they have actually been out since midnight pre-treating the roads. They're usually in for about 6 to 12 hours. But how do they decide how to treat the roads, whether it's salt or whether it's brine? Right. And how do they decide where to plow, how right. to plow? Mm -hmm. That's part of our next drive alert commitment to you. So I went and found some answers, stepped inside the plow for a and technology and the thought process on how they make that decision. During Minnesota winters. I mean, that's the part I look forward to all, all year. Maggie Ferris enjoys the challenge of making sure the roads are safe to drive. It's an adventure every single time. She's one of the more than 1,600 MnDOT plow drivers across the state, working when the snow falls to keep Minnesota's more than 30,000 lane miles of highways and interstates clean. What we do all day, drive back and forth. The bridges and overpasses and the on and off ramps will get more attention as they tend to get slick and ice up first. In addition to stopping up on the salt and the brine to do the job most effectively. All right, so this is booting up and this is sort of our control panel. Drivers right rely there. on technology. There's more than 800 MnDOT kind of plows across the state with roughly bad. 200 in the metro alone. Each one is outfitted with a support system that collects real-time data of what's happening outside. Oh, there it is right there. We mark what the road conditions are. Like right now I would probably put it's wet. And uh, then it usually asks for the weather conditions as well, and I would say snow. It also takes in the road and air temperatures as well as wind speeds before calculating what would work best to treat the roads as drivers plow, whether that's salt or brine or a mix of both. And all of that comes into the equation when it comes to how we do our job. Ann Meyer with MnDOT says the technology is a big help, especially with Minnesota's ever-changing winter conditions. It's more snow than less snow if the timing is different. All of those can have an impact on how well we do and when we do things. Working smarter to make sure we're all prepared for what happens next. And it's for you, it's to clear off the lines that you can't even see so that you can be safe out there. And of course, drivers, you can do your part as well to help out those plows. Keep your distance. MnDOT suggesting 200 feet behind those plows. That's roughly about 10 car lengths. That's a lot, and we know you have places to go in the morning, but you'd rather get there safe and sound instead of, you know, what the worst could happen. So just got to be careful.